International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea NX3 Technical Details of Sound Signal Appliances A. Frequencies and Range of Audibility The fundamental frequency of the signal shall lie within the range 70 to 700 Hz. The range of audibility of the signal from a whistle shall be determined by those frequencies, which may include the fundamental and or one or more higher frequencies, which lie within the range 180 to 700 Hz, plus or minus 1%, for a vessel of 20 meters or more in length, or 180 to 2100 Hz, plus or minus 1%, for a vessel of less than 20 meters in length and which provide the sound pressure levels specified in paragraph 1, C, below. B. Limits of fundamental frequencies. To ensure a wide variety of whistle characteristics, the fundamental frequency of a whistle shall be between the following limits, 1, 70 to 200 Hz, for a vessel 200 meters or more in length, 2, 130 to 350 Hz, for a vessel 75 meters but less than 200 meters in length, 3, 250 to 700 Hz, for a vessel less than 75 meters in length. C. Sound signal intensity and range of audibility. A whistle fitted in a vessel shall provide, in the direction of maximum intensity of the whistle and at a distance of 1 meter from it, a sound pressure level in at least 1 1 3rd octave band within the range of frequencies 180 to 700 Hz, plus or minus 1%, for a vessel of 20 meters or more in length, or 180 to 2100 Hz, plus or minus 1%, for a vessel of less than 20 meters in length, of not less than the appropriate figure given in the table below. D. Directional Properties The sound pressure level of a directional whistle shall be not more than 4 dB below the prescribed sound pressure level on the axis at any direction in the horizontal plane within plus or minus 45 degrees of the axis. The sound pressure level at any other direction in the horizontal plane shall be not more than 10 dB below the prescribed sound pressure level on the axis so that the range in any direction will be at least half the range on the forward axis. The sound pressure level shall be measured in that one-third octave band which determines the audibility range. E. Positioning of whistles. When a directional whistle is to be used as the only whistle on a vessel, it shall be installed with its maximum intensity directed straight ahead. A whistle shall be placed as high as practicable on a vessel, in order to reduce interception of the emitted sound by obstructions and also to minimize hearing damage risk to personnel. The sound pressure level of the vessel's own signal at listening posts shall not exceed 110 A weighted decibels and so far as practicable should not exceed 100 A weighted decibels. F. Fitting of more than one whistle. If whistles are fitted at a distance apart of more than 100 meters, it shall be so arranged that they are not sounded simultaneously. G. Combined Whistle Systems if due to the presence of obstructions, the sound field of a single whistle or of one of the whistles referred to in paragraph 1, F, above is likely to have a zone of greatly reduced signal level, it is recommended that a combined whistle system be fitted so as to overcome this reduction. For the purposes of the rules a combined whistle system is to be regarded as a single whistle. The whistles of a combined system shall be located at a distance apart of not more than 100 meters and arranged to be sounded simultaneously. The frequency of any one whistle shall differ from those of the others by at least 10 hertz. 2. Bell or Gong A. Intensity of Signal A bell or gong, 
or other device having similar sound characteristics shall produce a sound pressure level of not less than 110 decibels at a distance of 1 meter from it. B. Construction. Bells and gongs shall be made of corrosion-resistant material and designed to give a clear tone. The diameter of the mouth of the bell shall be not less than 300 millimeters for vessels of 20 meters or more in length. Where practicable, a power-driven bell striker is recommended to ensure constant force, but manual operation shall be possible. The mass of the striker shall be not less than 3% of the mass of the bell. 3. Approvals. The construction of sound signal appliances, their performance, and their installation on board the vessel shall be to the satisfaction of the appropriate authority of the state whose flag the vessel is entitled to fly.